Hello, my name's Lisa and if this is your first time here then thank you very much for choosing to click on my video. If you are a returning subscriber then just know I really do appreciate you. One thing I want to say before we get started is I have a little bit of a memory problem so I may put more breaks in videos than most people because I can't always remember what's been said if I leave it too long so if that's going to bother you then my videos are not going to be suitable for you because unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. Today's video is going to be an update on what has been happening with the Prove It leader Jesse Lee Ward and I'm just going to put a couple of trigger warnings in before we get started. Jesse Lee is going to be talking about cancer as well as having kidney stones so if any of those things are going to trigger you then this video will also not be for you for that reason as well so without further ado let's learn how jesse lee is doing shall we hello 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 everybody what is going on it's jesse lee you can call me Boss Lee. Uh, I'm excited to jump on here with you guys. It's been two weeks since I've packed trials live. I've been traveling so much. I had um, treatments. I was in California. I was in North Carolina. I've been all over the place. So hello. Um, North Carolina was the craziest wedding that I maybe will ever go to. I just put the wrong phone on my Instagram. Gosh darn it. I put my main phone there like I wasn't thinking. So, oh well, that will keep me from not being distracted. So I'll just be over here. I'll just pull, have to pull the iPad out to so get the orders out. I'm just going to point out one other thing. Even though Jesse Lee is packing trials, you are not going to see any of that in this video because I'm an anti-MLM content creator and therefore in my opinion none of you need to see her selling her product i have cut out those parts of the video where it was possible when she's not talking and answering people's questions if you're wondering why you're not actually seeing that activity that is the reason why Oh, and it's on one percent. Jesse Lee, holy Toledo, sister. Let's get it together. It's your first day. It's your first day. All right, let's let this charge a little bit. It's at one percent. Um, and we'll chat for a minute. So, um, found out I have kidney stones. If you guys missed that, so that was so zero percent fun. Um, and I don't like. I'm not in pain anymore. So I don't like. I have like a little bit of dull aching like oh like what's that every once in a while but it's not bad so I don't know if you've ever had kidney stones if you can tell me is it like gonna go away is it gonna be fine what's the deal with that um it was it was really bad the other day though um, I personally have not had kidney stones and I'm also not a medical professional but one thing I do know is one of our daughters suffers from them on a pretty regular basis. So yes, they are extremely painful. They can make you vomit all the time until you pass one, which can be a few months down the line and you can be in pain for all of that time. Or you can be like Jessie Lee, who was only in pain for a small amount of time. Yes, they can come back. Some people only get one in their lifetime. Some people don't get any and others get them on a regular basis. You know, there's no hard and fast rule for them from what I understand, but they are extremely painful. And when you pass one, you do tend to bleed because it is like a stone that is coming out of you and it's coming out of where you pee. As you can imagine, that is not a very pleasant experience to go through. But uh, it's been amazing. It's been a really great couple of weeks. 
feel healthy and strong uh, now that I'm not barfing from the kidney stones. And uh, treatment's going really well. Um, but anyway, I usually I know they like usually, oh, it usually subsides after a few days and then they come back. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to have like a second round of like, ah! As I've already stated, I am not a medical professional. But what is the point in you asking people on your live what happens with kidney stones? Because everyone is different. I mean, surely you should be getting opinions from people that have been through it, yes. But they may have only had one stone. In which case, what you're being told is not what's going to happen. If you have more than one stone and only one passes, then yes, the symptoms are going to keep reoccurring until they've all gone. I mean, surely that makes sense, doesn't it? While I wait for my iPad to charge, let's, oh, let's, oh, that's where the time went. The Flippin' Bossley Boot Camp Challenge is where my dang on time went. Oh, hey, Claude. Um, I was in a time warp last week. Maybe you guys were part of it, maybe you weren't. You were in a time warp. <laughs> well, that sounds like you were giving training that actually came from somebody else if you were in a time warp. Does it give anybody else that vibe, maybe? But I did the Boss League Recruiting Boot Camp. 6,000 people, uh, mostly network marketers, were on the boot camp, and it was awesome. Uh, I might do another one for maybe like sales or marketing or branding or something like that in a couple of months, not now. Um, I just completed about an hour ago the workbook that's going out. It's 72 pages long. So I know, look, I know, sister. All the scripts are in it, all the calls to action, the content calendar, every single thing is in there. I felt like it was like a description almost of my training. So, um, and if you didn't grab it already, I would definitely grab that. But I've seen a lot of the information that Jesse Lee is now sharing, even though the information was all supposed to be secret and only for people that paid for it. That didn't end up being the case. And a couple of fantastic content creators have shared the information so that anyone who makes anti-MLM videos can access it and react to it if they want to. From what I have seen and been told through watching other videos about it, I would not recommend you buy it because whatever price is attached to it is, in my opinion, totally not worth it funny things from that while the side pad charges i had one person ask for a three dollar discount because the workbook used to be nine dollars and now it's 12 um and he said he it was a man he he said that that made it a scam if the person wanting their money back feels it's a scam does it make any difference whether it's a he or a she uh, then i had what other complaints did we have I had four disputes of people for $17 saying that the product was not as described or depicted. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to be like, like, was it too good? Like, is it because I said five days and I did a bonus day? Like, what? Um, anyway, there were some people who paid for VIP that were like, how did, how did I get charged for VIP? I'm like, the box you checked? <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my God. I have to say, having listened to you many more of your videos than I would like to in some respect, that that is a very Jesse Lee attitude. People wanted their money back and you think it's because you over delivered and you did six days instead of five. Uh, no, it's because they weren't happy with the coaching you gave them. They didn't feel it was worth the amount of money they paid. So therefore, they asked for their money back. I'd have to say that that's a more likely scenario than the one you offered. But I don't handle support emails. God bless Stephanie if she's watching um, and uh, Junri, my, my support team, because they people have been screaming at them in emails, cussing them out in emails. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm so glad that's not my job. They were screaming and cussing out your support staff. That just reiterates what I've just said, doesn't it? Nobody would be screaming at your support staff if they were happy with what they paid for. Um, the workbook's inside the group still. I actually posted my story too, so anybody can still grab it if you want to. But that took up so much time. Like that was every single day last week. So um, I guess you guys know that. But every single day, it was an hour plus of training for everyone and then an hour plus of VIP. So that ended up being being at least two hours of training straight every day so uh, that was that was crazy i have access to the content that jesse lee's talking about for her private training i haven't decided whether i want to make a video on it or not yet and if i don't it's no big deal because plenty of other anti mlm creators have such as dc karina barina echo echo the clown town the content creators that i've just mentioned are all down in the description of this video so you can find their channels down there if you want to watch this disaster of training i have listened to the live videos of those content creators in my opinion the training leaves a lot to be desired and i probably would have been one of those people that was asking for my money back because I have definitely had much better advice from free training than what was provided. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then there's a ton of new Platinums, which I'm super excited about, um, my top level coaching, and yeah. So uh, how big of a team do we have? We have 22,000 active distributors. Uh, yeah, you can't, yeah, I mean, I'm like, goodness gracious. Kristen, nice. Did you see I wore my apron that you got me? Thank you so much. She bought me that, that really cute greens apron that I wore in my last Je Jesse Lee's Juice and Kitchen. I have seen your apron that you are talking about, and yes, I do agree. It is a very nice apron. It's definitely one I would wear. I am drinking a lot of water. I always drink a lot of water, and yeah. So the kidney stones better go away. Workbooks are going out tomorrow. Well, actually, probably like three more hours. Three or four more hours is, is when the workbook should go out. Just in case you're wondering how I could have seen the information, that's because this video, it was filmed maybe a week or two ago. So. Um, you filled up an entire notebook. I know somebody messaged me and said, somebody forgot to tell you that people only paid $17 for this challenge, not 17,000. <laughs> I do sell those ketone things. I'm number one in the world, baby. Jesse Lee, can you cite your sources where it says you are the number one seller in the world? Not found any evidence that you are the number one in the world. Can you clarify what it is you are the number one at? Because you're not the number one network marketer in the world. Are you stating that you're the number one seller of ketones in the world? Well, maybe that's true. But I would like to see evidence of that, please. Mm. Yeah, Stephanie says all new platinums. Super exciting, super exciting. Magnesium breaks up kidney stones. Okay. I know I am an icon. What can I say? You can still pay. You still can get the replay. All right. How much longer is this thing going to need to chart? It's at 5%. 5%. Um, okay. So what preventative measures do you recommend with everything you've learned? A lot more just like nutrition. Um, I see y'all doing crazy things in Miami as per usual. Uh, you need a week to decompress your hand from all the writing. Emily, I just saw your before and better photo. You look incredible. I uh, hope you feel as incredible as you look. But yeah, I would have been like more, like I was never really like a big vegetable eater. I think I would have been way more on the veggie tablets. The other thing is I would have processed grief and forgiveness a lot more. You are going to give out advice. Is your personal opinion based on your own journey? then I feel you should put out trigger warnings and also state that you are not a 
medical professional and the advice that you're giving is solely based on your experience and opinion. You should not just willy-nilly say what other people should do without those disclaimers. Am I on a lot of caffeine? I don't consume caffeine. So, uh, I do not, I am caffeine free, caffeine free. I am a caffeine free Jesse Lee, cancer free, caffeine free Jesse Lee. Right there is an example of exactly what you should not do. You tell people regularly that you do coffee enemas and you do not use decaffeinated coffee so you may not consume caffeine by drinking it but you do by carrying out an enema therefore the caffeine is still entering your body and you have absolutely zero proof that you are cancer free don't get me wrong i one million percent wish you did have proof of that but unfortunately you don't so uh, i only drink caffeine free ketones i do not drink caffeinated ketones great question um so I, yeah i'm caffeine free not interested all right um if you want me to do a call with your team just submit it on bossly.com so we can just talk about bookings and pricing and stuff like that um those ketones products are full of caffeine literally no um all of these boxes that are white have zero caffeine this is caffeine free, darling. Um, I just don't want the stress on my adrenals and I want to stay out of my sympathetic nervous system. Kosher, they are kosher. So hold on, I gotta have a coach. I gotta have a Jewish conversation for a second here. So my boyfriend and I have been together for almost a year now, like literally our swipe averse. If you don't know what a swipe adversary is, then it is something to do with Bumble I have never been on Bumble in my life, but I did Google it and apparently you swipe to say whether you like someone. So if you swipe one way, it says you don't like that person. And if you swipe the other way, then it suggests that you're interested in that person is the way I understand what a swipe adversary is. It's incredible because, I don't know, the amount of stuff I did not know about Judaism, obviously. Uh, How is it obvious that you don't know anything about Judaism? Especially with something that you're going to say a little bit further forward in this video I would be expecting you to know quite a lot about it personally it is shocking I guess with how much I've learned and it was initially me just trying to learn oh I see Israeli flags yay uh, I'll be in Israel in a week let's go let's go uh, but anyway I don't know what that weird little dance was sorry about that there's so much that I had no idea about, but when I am even just really good friends with somebody, I spend time trying to understand their culture. It's actually important to me. This is just one of my things, like to bring the world together. And so I did not know that I believe it's 80% of Jews are Jewish people. I don't know which one is the way you're supposed to say it. So that part I haven't learned yet, but also people, different people like to be called different stuff. So, but anyway, so Jewish people, the Jews, whatever, 80% um, are Ashkenazi Jewish. Jewish. And then 20% are Sephardic or a mix of, I think it's called Mitz, Mitz, I don't know the word. Okay. But I know Sephardic because Abiram is Sephardic. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I had no idea about like the Sephardic Judaism and I obviously knew about Ashkenazi, uh, because I have Ashkenazi Jewish blood. My father's side was Jewish though, which is why religiously speaking, I was not raised Jewish. Right? That sounds like a contradiction to me. Your father is Jewish and yet you said that people you know that you want to understand their religion. So you didn't want to understand your father's religion? 
and that's what I was referring to when I said that I would have thought that you would know a lot more about Judaism. Uh, I watch these Jewish women on TikTok too. Melinda Strauss and I are good friends. And then I watch the other ones. But I watch the other ones just to like really learn about them. And then meeting his family and spending time with them and learning about them. And it was funny. We were at, um, so as, even as an example, so Ashkenazi Jewish people say Shabbos and Sephardic say Shabbat. So Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I learned that the other day because in Hebrew, there's like, they can pick different pronunciations. Oh my gosh, I'm just on this like total, I don't even know what. But anyway, you got me on this conversation because yes, I'm going to do my third YouTube video, I promise. I got on this, this Jewish conversation. I don't know if you just caught what Jesse Lee was saying that she was walking away there. But it was answering, yes, I am going to do my third cancer video. This, what I'm going to say, is a reason why so many people comment on you. It isn't because they don't like you. It's because you say so many things and then even in the same video you contradict yourself. Now, when you first announced that you were doing a documentary of your cancer journey, you actually said that you were going to publish videos every week regarding it. And yet, your last video was published, what, well, I, I don't know, but it was about a month ago. It could have been three weeks ago, but whichever one it is, it definitely wasn't one week ago. And yet you knew you had all of these trainings and engagements and treatments coming up. So therefore, why promise something and then not deliver on it? Because yes, ketones are kosher. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because... Um... You know, I, there's weird, there's things that like I've accidentally done. So our house, as an example, I have two silverware drawers, which I never really, you know, knew about how much being kosher is like, you can't even use the same silverware. Um, and yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this whole conversation, but I brought that up because ketones are kosher. This is just my opinion, but if I was living with someone who has a totally different religion to me and it involved food, then I'm pretty darn sure that I would learn about it as quickly as possible so as not to make mistakes. Doesn't that stand to reason? As an example, my husband is a celiac, so therefore he can't eat gluten. It would be pretty disastrous if I didn't learn about it as quickly as humanly possible once he was diagnosed. And believe me, I did learn rapidly because the consequences are extremely painful for him. You're saying that you and your boyfriend have been together for almost a year and you're still learning about it? No, oh, that just doesn't sit right with me. What would you say in America? That's wild. Yes. So, and yes, a year. We've been together a year on August 26th. Is it crazy? Um, and I've been, and obviously I've learned a lot about that too. And then I've learned a lot about, you know what I think I like about their religion? What I think I really like about Judaism after experiencing a good bit of it now, like a lot of it actually in person. And then also just from learning is I can understand why people are so like involved in their religion, if that makes sense. I don't know if this is going to make any sense. How can I explain this? There's so many rituals that even in Christianity, I've never seen anything like it like watching Aviram play, pray with tefillin every morning and like watching the process and with the prayer book. I don't really know what the prayer book is yet. I need to like look into that. And then he started wearing the, I don't know what the word is. He taught me it last week and I forgot. Okay. 
But anyway, they have a prayer shawl, essentially, and he prays with the prayer shawl. What you're saying now is just proving my point even further. You're not really that interested in it, are you? If after it's the 14th of August today, so in 12 days time, you will have been together a year and you really haven't learned that much. So it, it can't be that interesting and fascinating for you, can it? Too. And then people are making up a lot of stuff about him and about me and about us. Yes, absolutely. This is not going to come as a surprise to you. We are not making up anything about you and him. All we are doing is reacting to what you say about you and him. And if there's any discrepancies, it's because of the contradictions that come out of your mouth, Jessie Lee. Not ours, yours. A lot of the information which has been shared in my videos and other content creators' videos has come from a source who is extremely close to the situation and is saying that what you're telling us is actually not true. Uh, so that's cool. But then what's really cool is now I've done a couple of Shabbat dinners, okay, with this family. And the whole ritualistic part of every bit of it, I think is so beautiful. I think it's amazing. Like, even like the little stuff, like you stand around the table and I can tell that there's certain places where everybody's sitting, but I haven't asked yet about why you, um, why you, why you stand where you stand and then watching. So the oldest man leads the prayers and then you pass the cup of grape juice or wine and it goes by age. I think it's so cool. And then all of them are like singing prayers together, which I think is so beautiful. And then, oh, oh I, I forgot, like the lighting of the candles starts first. It's the women who do that and sing that prayer. And then all this stuff happens, the breaking of the challah and the way they like talk. I don't know. It's like this whole thing. And then to break uh, Shabbat, there's another prayer and they smell an herb and like all of the, and now we're getting into the, uh, the holiday season, right? So I'm like learning all the differences between Ashkenazi and Sephardic because like as an example, um, I just think this is so cool. <laughs> It's like I found out during Passover, we don't have to starve. Like the Sephardics are the ones with the good food. In my opinion, you haven't learned very much in the time that you've been together. I'm not of Jewish descent. I don't have any friends that are Jewish. But even I know it's not called starving. It's called fasting. But the food with the Sephardics is delicious because it has the Spanish and the Middle Eastern influences. So there's no um, gefilte fish or matzo ball soup or all the stuff that I've always associated with, um, with Judaism. So it's been cool. And so I can't believe it's already been a year almost. Uh, um, we will be in Israel on our anniversary. Uh, so that's exciting. Uh, and we are also going to Egypt, which oh, I love travel so much. I know you guys know that, but that is like, oh, gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, not only is it a new country point for me, yeah, yeah uh, but also, I, I don't know, like Egypt's actually a country that I want to be in for, oh, I don't know, at least a week or something. I, for one, feel very happy that you are going away, going on holiday relaxing and taking better care of yourself than you were when you were working far too many hours in my opinion so yeah we're going to a wedding in israel um it is not our wedding no just throwing this in there in case you've not seen any of my other videos it wouldn't be Jesse Lee's wedding and that is simply because her boyfriend is still married. He hasn't gotten a divorce yet. It would be very difficult for him to marry you, wouldn't it?
Yes, there's no, not a wedding in his family. It's his childhood best friend. So um, he's marrying a Brazilian that converted, apparently. Uh, kidney stones are not related to cancer. Uh, the kidney stones are related to me doing hi, Wookie. Hi, BB. Hi, BB. High dose vitamin C. I do 50 grams of uh, vitamin C every four days, and it's a lot on the system. Which, you know what, is kind of funny. But, like, not funny, haha. -ha. But, um, like, a month before I met Aviram on Bumble, I paid for, like, that lifetime super bundle. Bumble, super bumble. You know what I mean? No, personally, I don't know what you mean. I don't know anything about Bumble other than it is a dating app. Um, I paid for the one where it's like you can go on for life and be able to change your location and do whatever. It's like $300, $200 for lifetime. I don't know what it costs. But I was like, man, I'm going to be a single for a long time. I'm going to be traveling the world for a long time. Let me just, let me just buy this lifetime membership of Bumble. What a mistake. I don't really understand the significance of what you've just said. According to you, you're a multi-millionaire, so what difference would a couple of hundred dollars make to you? His family's great, thank you for asking. All the ones I've met anyway, I have not met everybody, but I've met some important ones. I mean, they're all important, but I think you know what I mean by that. No, I can honestly say I don't know what you mean about that. Um, I bet his mama loves you. I don't know. She lives in Israel. We'll find out. But, you know, moms tend to like me. But I think she might be really old school. So we'll see. She's super orthodox. So I'm a little, a little nervous about it. I, mean, I would be nervous about it too if she's orthodox and old school. Oh, yes. In fact, I would probably be terrified about it. Uh, I love when people are so obsessed with me that they can't stop commenting. Like, why are you watching me if you can't stand me? That is mentally ill. Why is it that you feel the need to say things like that? Not everyone that comments hates you or is mentally ill. I mean, some of them probably do it just to see what kind of reaction they're going to get from you. Others would do it, like me, for content for a video. Not that I have ever commented physically on any of your posts. No, I haven't done that. But I do comment on what you say, though. Obviously, because we're here doing it, aren't we? But I feel great, like my stomach doesn't hurt at all. I haven't had any pain or any anything for days. And just the, the kidney thing that kind of pops up every here and there uh, while I'm waiting to pass this kidney stone, I'm like, yes. <gasps> oh, I have so much gratitude. I don't think I've passed a stone. People say when I hear it go click in the toilet. So I don't think I've heard that, but uh, I'll let you guys know. I love my love is on the West Coast. He spends so much time in California. Um, yes, yeah, the high vitamin C from uh, the IVs, 50 grams every four days is what causes cause kidney stones. So usually with vitamins, I guess you guys probably already know this, it's probably not unusual to you. Um, usually you can't really like overdose on vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. It's not really a thing, you'll pee it out. The problem when it's such high dose like that is it's an incredible amount of vitamin C, so that's what gets trapped in, in the kidneys. So, oh! Um, but I had, I had kidney stones while I was doing that challenge last week. So I was like, I was thugging it out. Is someone what somebody said to me, they're like, Jesse, you were thugging it out. I was like, what does that mean? Um, but if you watch, I think day three, I'm like sitting like this. And I'm like, rub I'm moving ice from the front to the back to the front to the back. I put stims on, every like, oh my gosh. But the vitamin C kills, um, is killing, is a cancer killer. So um, I'm not going to stop that. If you want to see Jesse Lee's training, as I said earlier, don't pay for it. Because in my opinion, it's not worth your money. Just go and watch it free on one of the content creators channels that I mentioned earlier. And there is absolutely no evidence that 
high doses of vitamin C cause cancer? Let's read together what this article from the Mayo Clinic says. This is the Mayo Clinic website and it says high dose vitamin C can it kill cancer cells. Interesting using very high doses of vitamin C as cancer treatment began as long ago as the 1970s when it was discovered that some properties of the vitamin may make it toxic to cancer cells. Initial studies in humans had promising results but these studies were later found to be flawed. Subsequent well-designed randomized controlled trials of vitamin C in pill form, no such benefits for people with cancer. Despite the lack of evidence, some alternative medicine practitioners continue to recommend high doses of vitamin C for cancer treatment. More recently, vitamin C given through a vein intravenously has been found to have different effects than vitamin C taken in pill form. This has prompted renewed interest in the use of vitamin C as a cancer treatment. There is still no evidence that vitamin C alone can cure cancer. But researchers are studying whether it might boost the effectiveness of other cancer treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy or reduce the treatment side effects. There are still no large controlled clinical trials that have shown a substantial effect of vitamin C on cancer but some preliminary studies do suggest there may be a benefit to combining standard treatments with high dose IV vitamin C. Until clinical trials are completed it's premature to determine what role vitamin C may play in the treatment of cancer. If you've not watched any of my content before or anything on Jessie Lee, then you won't know that she's not doing chemo. She's doing alternative treatments. So therefore, from what this article is saying, that would suggest that what she's doing is not going to work to me. Yeah. Um, what do we do with the kids? A bunch of stuff, because I'm cool. All right, so I'm not actually even that cool. I'm just really good with kids, so all right. I'm absolutely shocked that the mum of the kids is letting you spend any time at all with them. I know one thing, I certainly wouldn't be. Let's see, um, he does live in Texas. Papi Ram lives in Texas. He's just spending about three weeks out of every month in uh, California right now. Everything in this video is based 100% on my opinion, but I bet that you absolutely hate the fact he is spending three weeks of the month not being in Texas. Days. Um, I'm not taking the boot camp down that I know of. Um, I will probably repurpose it and sell the content. At least two weeks it will be up. That's what I'm supposed to say, at least two weeks. If you are seriously thinking about selling the boot camp, personally, I wouldn't bother because it is not that good. Today I posted this in my story, but I wrote that long post because people were talking about how cancer is one of those diseases where it's super, super lonely and debilitating. And I have not had that experience. Um, at all, just so everybody knows. Uh, and I know a lot of it, obviously, I have an incredible online community. I'm super grateful, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all of you, the YouTube community I have, everybody. Um, and then my friends in, in real life have just been super solid as well. Nobody has just kind of like, poof, abandoned or anything like that. I beg to differ there. 
you have said in other videos that you have cut people out because they didn't agree with your medical decision so you have experienced people being poof and gone as you put it my social media darling before you ruin a live video oh my gosh um jesse lee seemed to get quite annoyed there because rv ron was ringing her and she's saying you know don't ruin my live video well, if that's the way she talks to someone that she loves, I would dread to think the way she reacts to people that she doesn't actually like. Uh, but it's just been a really good example of how not everybody has to be in a situation where, you know, you get sick and then you're left alone. And I was in church on Sunday, of course, but I was in church on Sunday. Um, thanks, Jay. And yesterday, and they were saying that one out of seven... Hi, Avi Ram, I love you! Uh, you wouldn't think she loved you with what she was saying a few seconds ago, though, would you? One out of seven women and one out of ten men do not have a single friend outside of their family. And I just thought to myself, what we really have right now in society is a disease of loneliness and uh and i've just been so blessed that through this entire season yeah there's been some people where i'm like wow i guess like we don't really have a strong relationship but you haven't experienced any of that didn't you just say that a couple of minutes ago see what i mean about the contradictions we haven't even got to the end of the video and she's contradicting herself and she wonders why people comment my goal was 3,000, actually. Um, so we doubled that. It's unbelievable. And the amount of Platinums that joined that are going to let me coach them for a year. I'm very humbled. Thank you. Feel better, damn it. <laughs> I feel great. I feel good. Yeah, okay. Let's see, okay? Whatever your anti-aging secrets are, I need them. Thanks, Brianne. Appreciate that. How many Platinums joined from the challenge? I have to check. I don't know the answer to that question, but it is a lot and I am really excited. So growth season, maybe. Is interesting though. It's hard being a network marketer. Like, um, not hard being a network marketer at all. What I mean by that is if I were just somebody who said, hey, I'm gonna teach you how to build your own coaching business, send me $30,000 and I'll show you exactly how to do it A to Z. The amount of people that are super serious about their business and would do that um, is a lot more than network marketers when I say, hey, I'll coach you for a year, it's $20,000, and you'll get one-on-one, -on -one, you'll get everything. Like, the amount of people who take, like, coaching seriously, um, like, to build their own coaching business is it's just interesting. So, Can you explain further why that is interesting? And in my opinion, I don't think any coach is worth $30,000, whether it's an hour, a session, or for a whole year. Any coach that is going to teach you network marketing and charge you that amount of money, in my opinion, is not going to be worth it. And listening to content creators who have paid people that kind of money they've said it wasn't worth it as well and they did it i get it though like in network marketing you're not used to paying for education but all the top leaders pay for their own education so uh did avi ram close any platinums of course of course uh did avi ram close any platinum sales of course oh so Avi Ram is working for you now, is he? Are you paying him a commission from the sales that he is closing for you? I know an awful lot about closing because I work in a sales position and have done for many years and I have 
also been a closer. So I understand how much money you can earn in such a position. I'm not VP, but... The training you offer is like getting a master's in business from Harvard. More affordable, though, and less time at school. Thank you, Paul. That is really nice of you. Thank you very much. Having watched your training, I have to say, I don't agree with you at all. You don't learn more, and it is not more affordable. You know what works? Work works. Oh, we finally got to a place where I do absolutely agree with you. Work works. Yes, it does. Especially if you're doing a traditional 9 to 5 job. That works 100%. Being in an MLM though, that doesn't work for everybody and if you've not seen any of my other videos the FTC says that 99.6% of people that join a multi-level marketing company lose money or at best break even. The majority of them do not earn the type of money that Jesse Lee owns and if you are chasing that dream based on what Jesse Lee is telling you then you're pretty much guaranteed to be sorely disappointed oh yes I wanted to be done by 10 o'clock it is 10 o'clock on the dot um, any other orders we can come back live again tomorrow and do this again um, but I do go to bed early so I'm gonna go to bed early but I love you guys I appreciate y'all my name is Jesse Lee. If you are not yet following me, make sure you do. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Ciao. I did have a quick look to see if there were any other packing trials videos after this one. And there wasn't. So that suggests to me that there were no other orders. That's the end to this video i hope that you have enjoyed it if you have then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the next video bye bye for now